Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're here in Assetto Corsa once again doing some more online races. Here we are in a duty free race at Silverstone. Haven't raced at Silverstone in quite some time actually. Online lobbies normally go for Spa or Monza so this is a nice change of pace. But anyway here we come on our first flying lap of the session. I must admit Silverstone isn't my strongest track to say the least. It's actually probably one of my worst. As we come into Luffield now and now into Maggots and Beckett on our second lap, our first flying lap. And as we come out the Vale Chicane now, coming towards the end of the lap into Club Corner now on the newly named Hamilton Straight as we spin out right at the end, right where it matters, and we don't cross the line. Off to a great start straight away, but eventually I did manage to pull a decent enough time together, coming through Club now and onto the Hamilton Straight once again. What's it going to be? Crossing the line in P5. Not too bad. Right in the middle, pretty decent as we come into the pit lane now. Drop down to P7 as more and more people go faster and faster. Probably could have stayed out a bit longer, but it's a bit too late now. Already in the pit lane, and I may as well fill up the car as well. Put some more fuel in there. Don't want to be running out of fuel midway through the race. So that's about it for preparation. Let the race begin. So here we are on the starting grid at Silverstone, 10 laps of Silverstone, about to begin in our Mercedes AMG GT3. About to begin now, one light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. And off we go, kind of bugging down on the start there with traction control off, trying to get a good start, trying to salvage it after that poor initial getaway. Trying to get close to the cars in front. Now taking the inside line through Abbey, not the greatest line through there. You want to really be going wide through that first corner. As shown by the guy on the left, storming past in the Audi R8. Now coming into Village Hairpin now. Trying to get a good through there, but contact with the cars in front and contact with us as well. This guy barges us from behind as we now come into the loop. It's an absolutely terrible start down in P10 now. Getting passed by car after car as we now come into Entry Corner. And again now down into P11 as the blue Corvette to the left storms past on the entry to the corner. As we now come down the Wellington Straight, there's a McLaren on the grass on the outside. They're getting nudged off into the runoff area as we come into the Brooklands Corner now. Breaking hard into this corner, maybe a bit too late into there, but not too bad. Still sticking with the pack in front, at least as we come into Luffield. This long right-hander, very hard to judge when to open up the power through here. As we now exit the corner and come down the short straight towards Cobb's corner. Trying to keep behind the cars in front, trying to get into the slipstream. As for McLaren in front, they sent spinning by another car, forcing us into a collision down the old start-finish straight. Sending us into the barriers there, luckily no suspension damage, only bodywork damage as two other cars go spinning off in the distance as we come towards Cops now. Having an absolutely appalling start to this race so far. All the way down in P13, right at the back of the pack as we defend from the BMW Z4 behind. Now coming towards the fearsome Maggots, Beckett's and Chapel Complex. Chasing the McLaren in front now and speaking of which, McLaren goes wide coming into Maggots. And then offline once again coming through Beckett's, allowing us to send it down the inside up to P12 now. Still a long, long way to go if we want to get anywhere close to where we started in P8. Let alone the front of the pack as we exit Chapel now to come onto the Hangar Straight. The McLaren behind getting closer and closer in our slipstream as we get closer and closer to the car in front as well. I think they went onto the grass a bit as they exited Chapel. Now coming into Stow Corner, this long right-hander. Bit late breaking into there, but not too bad. Still getting back onto the racing line. Right behind the Corvette now as we come towards the Vale Chicane to start the second lap of this race. Coming into Vale now. As they lock up, almost going into the back of the Corvette there, as they lock up into Vale. That could have been a close one as we come into Club now to start the second lap of this race. Coming onto the Hamilton straight once again. Now right behind the grey Corvette in front, seeing if we can make a move on this upcoming lap for P10. Now coming into Abbey, very tricky corner to judge and even harder to execute as we come into Farm. And then the Village Hairpin getting closer and closer to the Corvette in front, breaking hard into this corner, getting close to that rear bumper, trying to find a way to squeeze on past on these next couple corners, as we do coming into the loop, but there's just not the space available, but there certainly is now, as they go wide going onto the grass on the outside there, as we come towards Aintree, coming through, barging past kind of, bit of contact there, but nothing too bad, as we come onto the Wellington straight now, now up to P10, not too bad, two places down on where we started. As we now come on to lap 4, still in P10, quite a long way behind the cars in front as well, so not looking the best for us so far. 
as we come into Village Hairpin. Now, as the Ferrari in front goes on to the runoff on the outside there, not sure what happened. I think they might have just locked up, gone a bit wide into that corner as we skip ahead to coming through Brooklands now. And again, more contact and mistakes from the cars in front as the Mercedes goes wide coming into Brooklands. As we now come into the long right hander of Loughfield once again, as we now come towards Cops, as the two cars in front crash out coming towards the entrance of the corner, as we sail past up into P8 now, two cars side by side through Cops can only end in tragedy, as it does up to P8 for us now, as we now come through Maggot and Beckett on lap 5 of 10 now, up to P7. Now, yellow flag in front coming into Maggots and Beckett, and it's none other than P6. P6 stranded on the side, that blue Corvette spun out on the exit of Beckett, up to P6 we go now, as we now skip ahead to lap 6. Another blue Corvette in front, now in P4, as we come into the village hairpin once again, as the guy in front locks up coming into there, giving us a good chance to get close and closer to the car in front. Now into the loop, getting closer and closer, bad line through there from the Corvette in front, Seeing if we can make a challenge now as we come towards the Wellington Strait in the slipstream of the car in front now trying to get closer and closer dipping a wheel onto the grass there of the Corvette in front as we come into Brooklands now seeing if we can gain a bit breaking a bit later than them seeing if we can get close to that blue Corvette as we now come into the never ending right hander of Loughfield as the blue Corvette in front goes wide on the exit there seeing if we can make a move on their compromised line but no cigar as the sheer power of that V8 Corvette pushes it away from us as we now skip ahead to the end of lap 6 coming into the stow corner now getting closer and closer as they break pretty early into that final corner not sure what they're thinking there as we come towards the veil chicane now getting closer and closer into veil we go Going into first gear, of course, a very slow couple corners this, probably the slowest on the entire circuit. As we now chase them around the final corner, coming through club here at Silverstone. Coming on to lap 7 of 10 now, going a bit wide out of club there, luckily not getting a penalty coming through there. But still right behind them, however, as we come into Abbey now, the first corner. And now this long flat out left hander of farm, getting closer and closer, trying to get into the slipstream of the Corvette. As we come into the village hairpin once again, looking to the inside slightly, but just no space available. But there's still plenty of opportunity to make a move later on in this lap. As we come into the loop now, getting a much better exit than they do, going a bit wide coming through there. Getting closer and closer, and again a much better exit there as well, going from the outside to the inside. Now in the slipstream of the blue Corvette in front, getting closer to that rear bumper. Now coming into Brooklands, diving down the inside on the inside, trying to make a move on the inside line. And just about squeezing past, coming into there, but now coming into Luffield. But going wide into Luffield, taking the outside line as they storm past up the inside, coming out the exit. Side by side out the exit of Luffield into Woodcock. And they're still there, just on the side, you can see with the arrow there. They are right in front, getting closer and closer as they go past, coming into Cops. No way am I going side by side into Cops, saw so what happened to those poor guys earlier as we go past. But they go wide into Cops once again, this is fantastic. Making our way back into third place, P3 on the podium. Now looking behind just real quick, seeing if they're still there, seeing how far they are behind as well, as they're still right on our tail, coming through Maggots, now coming into Beckett's as well. Still just can't fend them off, as they're still right there behind me, getting closer and closer. As we come out of chapel now towards the hangar straight, as they pull to the outside, as they prepare to make an overtake coming down the hangar straight. And now on the hangar straight, seventh time of this race, lap seven of ten. As we still just side by side with the Corvette on the left there, trying to defend the inside line there, as we do. Still in P3, still defending our place as we come towards the Veil Chicane now. Still right on our back bumper, that blue Corvette is, as we come into the Veil Chicane. But locking up and going wide coming into the Veil Chicane, giving them an easy opportunity to fly past on the exit of that corner as we skip ahead to lap 8 now. Coming through Village Hairpin once again as they lock up once again into Village. Going into the runoff area on the outside, that blue Corvette is as we come into the loop and again going wide through that corner side by side with the blue Corvette on the right as we come into Aintree now trying to not make any contact through there as we come onto the Wellington Strait once again and still somehow side by side with the Corvette on the right 
as we come down towards Brooklyn's corner once again, still side by side, they're just ahead as we dive down the inside, trying to hold on desperately to that vital third position as we come into Luffield now, my Achilles heel here at Silverstone, as again we go wide and they're right there with us going down the inside, coming out the exit of Luffield, side by side with the Corvette on the right now as we come towards Cops on this short straight, the old start finish straight, they edge just ahead of us, it's a common copy of last lap, let's go towards Cops now, see if we can make a move if they go wide, but instead I'm the one going wide with them getting a much better line than I do, perfect from the blue Corvette in front as we charge towards Maggots and Beckett once again, before skipping ahead to the end of lap 8 now, coming down the hangar straight, as I now pull to the inside and diving down the inside on the blue Corvette on the left, trying to make a move but getting it all kinds of wrong through there. As we now skip ahead to lap 9 of 10, the penultimate lap of this race, as they go looking up once again into the runoff area at Village Hairpin, getting into P3 once again, trying to get past the loop, and this time it has been sealed up to P3 we go with them going wide, wide, wide onto the grass on the outside there, up to P3 we go, ending one of the most exciting battles I've ever had in my time in sim racing as we skip ahead to lap 10 of 10 now the final lap and wow how long was that battle like what lap 6 to lap 9 I think 3 laps of pure battling I think that's a pretty good thing to remember in my book as we come round the Vero chicane now to end off the race and finish in third position it says P1 because I'm pretty sure first and second place have already left the lobby but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to subscribe, comment, share, and I'll be back in the next video. See ya!